Well, new research from Stanford Medicine shows the potential benefits of going vegan. That study involved 22 pairs of identical twins, one twin on a vegan diet, the other one on an omnivore diet. And joining me now is the senior author of that study, Dr. Christopher Gardner. So tell us about the findings and the study and how it was conducted. So the findings were we got drops in LDL cholesterol and drops in fasting insulin, and they lost a little weight when they went vegan versus going on an omnivore diet. But the, the timing of this and the setup, I think, is pretty interesting. So we ended up scheduling this for an eight-week study and four weeks in each of two phases. So picture this. If you're trying to get somebody to accommodate a vegan diet, which you're not familiar with, how long would it take them to teach them? So we actually got a food delivery service. So a food delivery service provided all the food for four weeks. And then, in case anybody said, well, that's not very generalizable, for the last four weeks, they did the diets on their own. Interesting. So what exactly are the health benefits of, of, of going vegan, and, and is it healthier? Well, so typically vegan diets tend to be lower in saturated fat, higher in fiber. Those are things that will lower your LDL cholesterol, which did go down in the diet. Those are things that can slow the rate of absorption of glucose into your blood, which would make it easier to manage with insulin. And those are things that can make you feel more satiated. And so that would be a reason to eat fewer calories during the day. That would explain lower LDL, lower insulin, and lower weight. The challenge here is uh, going on a vegan diet doesn't necessarily have to be healthy. Soda is vegan. Hmm. candy bars can be vegan, right? And so we had a healthy vegan versus a healthy omnivorous diet, but the unique part of this was really doing it in identical twins. Hmm. And so would you ever extend the study? You said you went eight weeks, correct? Would you ever go beyond yes. it? And what do, you, what do you think you would find if you, if you went longer? Well, so really the only way to do that is study people who have already been vegan mm -hmm. and see if they've been vegan for five or 10 or 15 or 20 years. But then when you do that, it's not the same as a trial where you've randomized people because people who are vegan long-term tend to think, do things differently. Some of them exercise more, they sleep more, they, they just have different characteristics and it might not be the diet, it might be the other things that they're doing, which is why when you do a trial, you have to decide how long people would be willing to do it when you sign them up. So let's say I'm going to include you in our next study, and I'm just going to ask you, because I'm curious, diet A versus B, can you just do that for five years for me while you're at work? Is that, no? Yeah, yeah I'll, try year? <laughs> I'll try it. How about a month? How Maybe. about, right? And so part of it is a realistic yeah. participant burden thing. Mm -hmm. And part of it is, uh, well, how long does it, does it make sense to do it for the science? Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, you're taking a lot of readings and, and scientific numbers and doing a lot of measurements. I was curious, between the two twins, what, what were their moods like? Were, were, there different, were there differences in their moods? Well, there were differences in their moods when we first assigned them. So what was really funny, I have to share this, is we had a big reveal for every one of the 22 pairs. And we said, you're vegan and you're omnivore. That's the randomization. And you could tell that some of them were kind of excited and they got exactly what they wanted. And they wanted different things and they got it. A couple of them were like, oh, my God, that's the opposite of what we wanted. But we know it's science, so we have to do it anyway. I have to say we were a little worried that they would go home and say, look, we each got the one we didn't want. They can't tell us apart. We're identical. Why don't we just switch? But I really don't think anybody did it. that, but I, I got to tell you, it was a blast working with identical twins, which really upped the scientific rigor of the study. But just from a personal basis, identical twins are just adorable and super fun to work with in research. I, I can talk to you about this all day. This seems like a fascinating study. So uh, we'll have more on our website if you want to go ahead and check it out. But uh, Dr. Christopher Gardner, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me today and for your interest. Bye, everyone.